Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. I'm Diana Stancy. In May, the aircraft carrier Gerald R. Ford steamed away from Naval Station Norfolk, poised to operate in the European theater for its first full-length combat deployment. But six months at sea and just weeks before the warship's scheduled return home, the Pentagon ordered the carrier to adopt a new mission and head to the Eastern Mediterranean after Palestinian militant group Hamas attacked Israel in October. As a result, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin approved multiple extensions for the carrier's deployment, totaling an additional 76 days at sea so the ship could deter further escalation of a broader conflict. Over the course of 239 days at sea, the ship's crew logged more than 83,000 nautical miles, nearly 18,000 flight hours, 10,000 plus sorties, and performed 43 underway replenishments, moving 20 million gallons of fuel. Now back in its home port, the Ford crew is getting a break from operations, and I got a chance to visit the ship while reporting for Navy Times. I spoke to the Ford's commanding officer, Captain Rick Burgess, about the deployment and what's next for the Navy's newest carrier. We didn't prepare for the specific deployment we thought we were going to do. Like, we weren't preparing for a European. We were actually preparing to operate uh, under any mission set, anything that we were asked to do. So we really spent a lot of time maintaining uh, readiness, and we had to build it. So we did that through the first part of deployment, and that ended up serving us well when we were redeployed with a different mission set. Despite these extensions, Captain Burgess said the morale didn't dramatically dip and came at the ship's highest level of readiness. Having an open, honest discussion with them about what was going on, what we knew, what we didn't know, and then, uh, and then doing it quickly and communicating the same to the spouses sure. really kept both the families at home together and the crew. Uh, and uh, that was a great lesson learned for us. The Ford arrived back in Norfolk in January and is now undergoing a maintenance availability before deploying again. 